children of all ages, I am John Kennedy Kane, the ringmaster with the Big Apple Circus, and you are watching The Pavlina Show. Hey everyone, it's Pavlina from The Pavlina Show, and I am here with an amazing ringmaster at the Big Apple Circus, also known as JKK. It's John Kennedy Kane. How are you doing? I am doing great, and that's my real name. That's not a stage name. John Kennedy Kane. I think the parents had different plans for me. Yes. Not the circus. <laughs> I, I love it, though. I think it's great. And then I heard that your nickname was JKK. And I, or like JKK. Around here, it makes it easier. Yeah. You know, when they're uh, looking for me or mad at me, it's easier to okay. say JKK. That's true. But then, like, when you have a, um, what do you call it, like a joke that you guys are playing or something, it's like, ah, JK. <laughs> I liked yeah. it. Good. Anyway, so I heard that you used, when growing up, you used to run away to the circus. Tell me about that. I did not run away to the circus. I had my very own circus in my oh. basement. Oh, yes, and I would play circus each and every day. The parents always and the family always knew I was in the basement yeah. playing circus, yep. Oh. And so uh, I was that kid that uh, I saw my first circus at eight years old and my parents said that I said, I'm gonna join. And <laughs> they also said I was gonna be the ringmaster because I've had this voice since I was an infant. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mom, the diaper's wet, that kind of a thing. So. Oh it, it yeah. did not surprise anyone in my family or neighborhood or school yeah. that I joined the circus. So they were totally supportive the whole time. That's awesome. Pretty much. I think they were hoping that you would go get it out of your system, get yeah. back in time to go to college, that kind of a thing. But right. 35 years later, I made it to the Big Apple Circus, the best circus in America. I know. So I have really climbed that corporate ladder. The family's very proud now. Yes. <laughs> that's amazing. That, that, that's just awesome. So this year, you guys are doing the Grand Tour. That is amazing. I know before, like last year, you guys were doing, um, what was it called? Um, Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so what is the difference between this year, you know, the Grand Tour and everything? Like, tell me about it. Well, you know what? People believe that if you've seen one circus, you've seen them all. Not true. Big Apple Circus, and I've been on many, many circus, 15 yeah. different circuses in my lifetime. And this show is so unique. Uh, this is my fourth year here, and every year, completely new cast. When you see all new, it really is. Only two of us are brought back, myself and our uh, delightful animal trainer, Jenny, oh. who has horses and rescued dogs. We come back every year, which is great, some yeah. steady work. So... If you've seen the Big Apple before, come back because it's all new acts every year, a new theme, new music, new costumes. This year we're on the Grand Tour. Last year was Metamorphosis, which was almost like a magic show. Okay, yeah. This year we actually tour the world, and of course everywhere we stop, there's a different uh, amazing performer that we encounter. So we have acts from... Um, uh, China, yeah. Russia, Africa, mm -hmm. just all over the place. And uh, we not only travel around, we do it by ship, plane, auto, mm -hmm. and train. So yeah. all kinds of different modes of transportation, which really makes it fun for the kids. Because yeah. the clowns are kind of leading the tour, not me. <laughs> I just kind of watch what they do. Yes, follow. I know. That's amazing. Now, 35 years in this mm -hmm. business, that's a long time. Ha has there been, like, any time that you just like, really don't want to be ringmaster today like or is it just always so exciting well i've not always been ringmaster i was a fire eater for a while so those really? days yeah. yeah yeah i'm happy those days are gone <laughs> yeah. and then i was a clown for 15 years and uh i was a magician and an illusionist and i even did concessions that's where i made some money but <laughs> Being the ringmaster is my favorite, right. and so um, it's what I've always wanted to do. It took a long time. Uh, circus is very much generational. Okay. Seventh generation, ninth generation, their family's all done it. When you're first generation, how do you get into the circus, you know? Yeah. So uh, now that I'm here and got it, uh, I, I do love it. I don't, when you ask, do I ever have a bad day? I really don't think I ever really? mind going to work yeah. because um, I'm always reminded of what my brothers and sisters do for a living yeah. and that I'm kind of very lucky. And then I also, I'm a big believer of like, don't take yourself too serious. Right. It's a circus, let's have some fun. Yeah, so I try to hope that comes across uh, where it's not no smoking and don't do this and don't do that, no videotaping. Come and have a good time, you know, and we invite everyone to do that. Yeah, definitely. Because we're here in Queens. Yes, we are. Yeah. Cunningham Park. I know. Now through until June, right? Yes, Until June. June 12th. And you know what else? This is the end of our tour. We've been out almost for a full year with rehearsals and everything. So this is your last chance to see the Grand Tour, but not last chance to see Big Apple because you come back next year, all 70s theme. 
70s. Yep. They're oh me. my gosh, Teach I love the 70s. Me the hustle and is that what the songs get? That, is that do the hustle? Yeah, I think that's what they're oh. talking. And the locomotion and all that. I acted like I don't know. Of course, that yeah. was my era, so I could handle that. So an all brand new show next year. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to come back. Okay, so I know a lot of people think like the circus is like, oh, for younger kids or whatever. Mm -hmm. And for a while, I kind of thought the same thing. And then I just saw the show like yes. just now, right. and I was I could not help but smile like the whole entire time. I have you it. never seen the Big Apple Circus before? No, I have. I've seen the Ringling Brothers, but that was it. I, I know. <laughs> I never heard of that show. Okay, is that out there? Okay. Uh, now here's the thing. And that's where even my family, who is not circus, right. if you've seen one circus, you've seen them all. Not true, right? right? Because Big Apple, you're not in an arena. You have to watch the show because you're sitting right around the ring. So you, even if you're not into it, you will be into it by the end of it because everything's right in front of you. Yeah. And during the show, there are no vendors selling cotton candy and popcorn. We have that, yeah. but not during the show. We want you to watch the show. So again, I've been in the circus a long time and all different shows. This is the first show, the Big Apple Circus, where the most important part of my day is the show. Yeah. That's not true with every circus. A lot of them is the most important part, how do we get to the next town? Mm -hmm. Most okay. important part is cotton candy, popcorn ready? Yep. Nope. The most important part here is the show. And, and for an artist, that's what's really been rewarding right. with the Big Apple Circus. It's awesome. Now, you guys have something with the clowns I just absolutely love. Um, it's the, the clown doctors or the doctor yes. clown. Yeah, I love that. So can you just tell me about what they do and like how they travel around and do it? Well, here's the thing. Uh, Big Apple Circus, people are very surprised to learn we're a non-for-profit organization and so yes we do this beautiful show mm -hmm. and over 50,000 disadvantaged children come to see us each year with free tickets that's a program that's called uh, circus for all but we also have a program that's clown care mm -hmm. and these are clowns but they act as doctors in hospitals and a lot of people think that's a promotion for the circus right. they're there year-round they don't work for the circus wow. no they work for Big Apple, but right. they're not in our show. They just do the hospital rounds, and some of them have done it. We just came from Boston, where we celebrated our 20th year. Yeah. And, uh, of course, we were in hospitals in New York. So it's a wonderful program, and what it is, they have actual rounds Monday through Thursday, and they get to know the children. And the doctors, real doctors, will tell you that a child laughing is so easier to treat. Mm -hmm. you know. And we just take their mind off of what they're dealing with, and, of course, the families appreciate it. But also, some of our other community programs, we have um, Circus of the Senses, which we do shows for hearing impaired and blind children. Are you and when I am serious. What? And when the show's over with the blind children come in and they touch everything, the animals, the trapeze, and they get to experience the show that way. Mm -hmm. And then our newest thing is we do uh, autism shows for autistic children. Mm -hmm. And I've learned it's a tent full of autistic kids, yeah. but it's really about something for their families because they can't do something as a family yeah. restaurants and movies and here they can come as a family and no matter what's going on oh we can deal with it because we uh, have learned how yeah. to entertain the autistic audiences so big apple is a wonderful organization if you really look into what we do it's not just buying a ticket to the circus you're helping so many of our community programs and it's all listed and available at uh, bigapplecircus.org not dot com Dot org. org. Mm -hmm. You get the show times, ticket prices, all that. I'm going to sell tickets too. Good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much for talking to me. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Come every year to see the Big Apple Circus. If you've seen us before, come again. If you've never seen us, this is the time. All right. Thank you so much. My pleasure.